Hello, this is Penny Griffiths Morgan. You may know me better as the presenter and writer and general everything to do with the Haunted Histories podcast, which you can find on Paranormal UK Radio Network. Or you may know me as the author of books like My Haunted History, A Haunted Experiment, and most recently at the time of recording this video, Paranormal Playtime, The School That Never Sleeps. What I thought I would do is continue with my what I called the History Bites section, where I gave you short sort of bursts of history. But this video is even shorter than normal, so maybe it should be called History Nibbles. Who knows? But what I'm going to be talking about is the amazing Hedy Lamar. Now, you may or may not have heard of Hedy, but she was uh, born in Vienna, Austria, on the 9th of November, 1914, and was originally known as Hedwig Eva Maria or Maria Keisler. Many accounts to do with her sort of upbringing say that her mother had actually wanted a boy, but whether this is true or not, the woman who, in my opinion, became one of the most beautiful actresses in the world, was also an amazing brain, who is reported to have taken apart a music box and put it back together again at the age of five just because she wanted to know how things worked. Her ability to question scientifically and to come up with solutions was something that was, I guess you could say, built into her from a young age. Her father would frequently take her into the centre of Vienna and show her all the things that technology and things that people took for granted, such as the trams. He would explain that they ran on electricity and then he would explain how the electricity was made and where it was made. So it was unsurprising, really, that, that Hedy was going to even develop this, I suppose, lust for knowledge and working things out even further. In fact, it never left her, and she told many people that she did not want to be known as an actress or a beauty, but as a scientist and an inventor. Her film career started at the age of just 17 and she appeared in many, many European films in Austria, Germany, Czechoslovakia, including one called Ecstasy in 1933, which was as controversial as the title may suggest. Moving to the United States later on, she found her career continued to flourish, as did her love life, something that maybe she is quite well known for. She seems a passionate woman, nothing wrong with that, and ended up married and divorced some six times. She also had relationships with many of the noted men of that era, including the slightly eccentric and totally marvellous aviation tycoon, Howard Hughes. Now their relationship is absolutely no secret, but what is not so well known is the fact that Hughes actually admired her for her brain as much as her beauty and made his entire team of scientists available to help her with her inventions. She even suggested a new type of aircraft for him, as she felt his were too slow. Her design was based on two of the most aerodynamic things that she could think of, a fish and a bird. But she was beautiful, and, and a lot of people, that's all they saw. In fact, she was actually the woman who was the inspiration behind both Disney's Snow White and... The wonderful Catwoman. It was during World War II, however, that one of Hedy's most famous inventions, or at least should be seen as one of her most famous inventions, was developed. The Navy, especially, used radio-controlled torpedoes, and the problem was that these could be blocked once the enemy found the correct radio signal. Without this means of attack and defence, many vessels were sitting ducks against the enemy, something which... Hedy wanted to find a way of stopping. Her, she and her composer George Anthill came up with a secret communication system that covered a frequency hopping spectrum. Which sounds complicated, and it is. It's, I'm, I'm no scientist, I don't know where they came. it came from, but in a nutshell it meant that the signal was actually changing every few seconds, so therefore it couldn't be tracked or predicted and therefore the torpedoes couldn't be intercepted. Now they applied for the patent of this in June 1941 and had it granted just over a year later in the August of 1942, being 
patriotic citizens that they were, they offered it to the US Navy. Although the military felt it was too clunky, that's actually one of the words they use, to be used, and also were quite dismissive of the concept being presented by two people who they felt were nothing more than entertainers. After all, what would they know? They had no formal training, and therefore there was no depth to the concept. It wasn't until the late 1950s, however, that the Navy rediscovered the idea that had been shoved in the storage cupboards and forgotten about but by which time, funnily enough, the patent had expired and nothing could be paid to the original inventors or attributed to them, the wonderful Lamar and Anthill. Now, Hedy always said that she felt the brains of people were more interesting than the looks, but time after time, people could not see past her beauty, past the aesthetics and what lay within and what potential she had for well, inventions and discoveries. She died at the age of 85, a virtual recluse whose only contact with people was actually by phone. The scientific world's acknowledgement for her achievements only came shortly before her death. But it does make you wonder that next time you use things like GPS, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can think of Hedy Lamarr because without her frequency hopping discovery and her if you like questioning mind, would these everyday tools be available to you now? I'm going to, to leave this um, talk for you with a video of Hedy and uh, I think this sums up perfectly. I'll read you something pretty. People are unreasonable, illogical and self-centered. Not them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish alternative motives. Do good anyway. The biggest people with the biggest ideas can be shut down by the smallest people with the smallest mind. Think big anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. Give the world the best to have and you'll be kicked into the sea. Give the world the best you've got anyway.